In this video, we're going to show you how to apply a pressure sensitive decal, which is pretty standard for cab door lettering kits, uh, some smaller box truck kits, as a lot of the stuff has migrated to wrap capabilities, which is pressure activated adhesive. Uh, if you want to understand what it looks like, if you look at the back side, it's just pre mask base paper, which is like synthetic coated craft paper and a solid sheet of vinyl that's custom cut with no air aggress technology. It's old school, but it works very well to this day. To apply this film today, we're going to use masking tape, um, a, a nice microfiber towel, and some 70-30 isopropyl alcohol for prepping, and a four inch 3M blue squeegee, which we have readily available for anyone interested in doing this themselves. Just call us at Slicks Graphics, 215-736-8000, and we'll get you everything you need to be successful. We're using a laser for simple purpose to show you how to pin this graphic up. Uh, but before we do that, we need to prep. So in order to prep, we simply spray down our truck and we take our microfiber towel and in a nice clean circular motion, we wipe down the surface of our clean truck. After that, we take our masking tape and our decal um, and we pin this up using the help of the laser. Always use the corners and angle yourself away on a roughly 45 degree angle so that becomes a pivot point. So when you start here, it stays there as you move to adjust your baseline. Once established, you'll see that that laser shows that I'm pretty much level. Uh, tape measures work very well for this instruction. So you don't have to have a laser, but when that's all said and done and you're set, um, yes, technically I should space this over a little bit, but I'm only using this as a demonstration for you guys. So then we apply what's called a vertical tape hinge. You can use magnets, but for those of you who don't have magnets, everybody should have masking tape, whether it's green or blue or tan like this. Vertical hinge. Take your piece of tape from your corner and move it down to the bottom of your film just to create a tape guide. This will simply allow you to maintain that position when you go and get this film applied all the way to that edge. Next step, carefully fold it back and peel the liner paper from the pre-mask, leaving just your letters exposed. This is all the adhesive side of the letters. Take a pair of scissors, be very careful, cut straight up. Don't get too close to the release point, which is here. Also, try not to scrape your blade into the paint because that will not make anyone happy. Carefully float the film level so you're not doing this or this, buckling it, because you don't want to walk up or down hill. You want to stay level. Okay, and then you will see that as I lower that down, I'm pretty much still in line. The laser still looks good but I still haven't even applied anything yet. Take your squeegee, apply roughly 15 pounds of pressure. And just like plowing snow, you're going up and down, take on a half inch at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself and you will be just fine. Nice even pressure, keeping everything moving this direction. So that would basically be air, right? And you are left with a nice, clean, wrinkle-free install showing the pre-mask looking good even though we're not going to keep the pre-mask. Once this half is done, take your tape hinge, discard it, you're done with it. Undo your other corner piece. Replace it down here. Um, for this example, I'm going to actually use another tool we love at Slicks, and this is the chalk pencil. 
um, or Stabilo pencil, whatever you want to call it. And that just simply transfers an easy to use mark to line up your edge so you don't walk up or downhill. Come back, uh, carefully peel this film. You can, two ways here, you can remove this completely or you can break it down into smaller sections, which I will do just so people that are concerned can take this down and be more accurate with their install and less likely to have a problem. Get to here where you've got about an inch of non-installed film left before the release point. Then simply continue to release the rest of this film, liner paper. Okay, I'm going very slow just so you can see that the squeegee strokes are roughly 60 degree angles. Uh, you can go down to like 45 degrees. It's going to help you. Um, right on the money with the line. No walking issues. All that's left is two things. One, clean up that line, which you might be able to do with your finger. You might need your towel. And step two, carefully peel the mask. Peeling mask is very simple, but please keep in mind that you always want to peel on the surface, meaning that my fingertips as I pull are constantly sliding on the surface so I don't pull like this because this is prone to letter popping. Letter popping results in a letter popping off of the truck surface because the actual bond, the permanent bond for this film takes up to 24 hours and we have been here for less than five minutes. So we know this bond is still setting up. So that's why we peel this way. And we're left with a bubble-free, perfect installation for this simple lettering kit made out of pressure-sensitive film. Why do we still use it? Because it is a very cost-effective solution for fleet owners that have a lot of trucks on the road. However, for the do-it-yourselfers out there, we also can make this product with pressure-activated wrap technology, allowing really anyone to install this film without all of the fancy pre-step work here. Um, you can actually peel the whole thing and literally lay it down and tack it where you want it, all one shot, and take a squeegee, same squeegee, and just as long as you're still moving this direction, it's literally impossible to trap air. Whereas in this case, it is possible to trap air and have a bubble. However, you would just take a tool like this, which is a nine millimeter breakaway knife, and you would simply go ahead and pop a bubble and then just slide the air out and that would solve the problem.